kitchen. I'm I'm Chef Paul, Darth Paul, however you want to pronounce it. Today I'm going to be doing something as a request from some of the friends in my building. Uh, they've asked me to, to try out some spaghetti squash. Uh, it's new to me. I've never even heard of it for the last couple of weeks, and uh, Amy's been going at me every day like it like a puppy. Like, when are you going to make me some spaghetti squash? When are you going to make me some spaghetti squash? Is that or liver? Well, no. I'm a big fan of liver, so we'll try spaghetti squash. I'll sneak some liver in later in the week. So before we go any further, I, I want to... This is some of my crew here. This is Oscar. And then I'm going to introduce you to Chili. This is Chili's. Two biggest critics I have. I get yelled at if I don't pet them enough, so I guess I haven't been petting them enough because they're they great A1 intentions all the time. The other two cats you guys know. So, this is spaghetti squash. Uh, it's a pain and a half to, uh, to cut, but this is the hardest part doing it. And I'm going to be making spaghetti squash pad thai. This is going to be very inventive, very nice. Uh, so, without any further ado, and you have to be a little patient with this because this is also extremely hard to cut. But if you uh, if you if you Google any of this, uh, you'll you'll find that it's really good. Now you really should have a good chef's knife. So I'm actually going to buy another one because that's kind of not really good. So I'm going to cut this in quarters because it makes cooking a lot easier. Because after a bit here we're going to have to gut this, much like a pumpkin, right? So, so in order for me to uh, to not have like an hour long video, because believe me, there's a lot of parts to this. Uh, I'm just showing you that you gotta cut downwards. And when I'm done this part of it, I'm gonna uh, come back and I'll show you the gutting and what we're gonna do with it on the pan. So uh, for now, I'll be right back. All right, so cutting's done and my lovely wife reminded me we actually have more knives that I didn't even think about and didn't take very long. So what we're gonna do now, is much like carving a pumpkin, I mean, because obviously this part of it's trash, uh, you want to clean this right out, get it as gone as you can. See, I mean, that's not too bad, right? You want to get rid of the seeds. Now, you can technically roast them like you would pumpkin seeds. That you can definitely do. So now I got this part here, so I'm going to turn the oven on. 350 just so it's preheated and you want to start disregarding this garbage in something I'm going to use this and while this is cooking my wife, lovely wife is going to dispose of this she's good at it while I'm doing this I'm going to let you know a little secret you can get them at uh, Creek lunchbox, or you can get them at uh, online on Amazon if you want. Uh, love Amazon. If you're not, if you don't know much about it, learn it right now because I promise you it'll save save you a lot of money. Sometimes it's really good, but it's called Bean Boozled. It's a little game you play with somebody, and you hand them the hand them the thing, and they so they get a random jelly bean. Some of them taste really good. Some of them taste well, not so good. What do you think, Amy? Not so good. She always ends up getting dog poop or soapy water. Stuff like that. Her favorite stuff. Mm. She, she's such. This is what she's really like. Mm. Apparently. Apparently. She's not saying anything negative. No, about it's not true. So, while I'm doing this, I'm also going to tell you this video is dedicated to my uh, good friend Athena. Uh, 
I'm going to be doing an intro video on a new service we're providing. So if you want to come and chat with us about uh, cooking at any time, I actually have a server set up where you can join and, uh, and enjoy the company of other people and, and, and you know, learn a little bit, hopefully. Uh, but Nina's one of, my, uh, one of my members on here. Uh, very nice lady. She just developed IBS. And there's a list of things she can or can't eat. This video is dedicated to her. Now, Athena, if you're watching this, I hope you are. Uh, please don't do everything perfect to what I'm doing. Cooking is all about altering. Put some other things in, take some other things out. Uh, I, I'm using extra olive virgin oil. That's my favorite. That's a very good one. Uh, however, you can also get other things like uh, coconut oil. Uh, coconut oil is really good. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a sister-in-law that struggled through this for a long time. My wife also struggles with it, so um, I know a little bit more about it than, say, the average person. I'm not the expert by any means, but it is what it is. Uh, so, Athena, if you're watching this, I, I hope this helps you out. Uh, this is a new thing for us. Uh, so we've never had spaghetti squash, but there's a lot of people in my building that have been like, hey, Paul, or Christopher, whatever you want to call me, could you make a video on this? Because we'd really like to see your take on it. Well, here it is. I'm not going to name names, but I'll just call him the Midnight Rider, because he's sleeping all day in bed. And he goes out and rides all night, looking for a new lady. Actually, technically has a boyfriend, girlfriend, really nice girl too, uh, but we just like rising him. Nice guy, works great shit. So, that is squash guts. Almost looks like gnome guts, except they'd be a little bit more red. So, I'm going to put this somewhere right now, and my wife will be taking care of this very soon. Now I need this again very shortly, and I'm not too worried about it because it is actually you know, relatively clean. It's a vegetable, not a meat. So here, what we're going to do, we're just going to, I'm going to take that. I'm just going to move it, or I'm just going to. Rinse around there because we don't want it sticking to the. Uh, we don't want it sticking on anything. Of course, my lovely wife reminds me of this. Don't need a whole lot of this. You really don't. But we're just going to get the top and bottom. Believe me, this will be a real pain when it's coming out. But this, ladies and gentlemen, was the hard part. So we got through the hard part. Yay, us! <laughs> so I'm just going to wash my hands a little bit. Because we're going to be working with chicken in a second. By the way, when you're cooking, you always clean your hands. Make sure your hands are always clean. Not doing some of the weird stuff that Amy does when you're not looking. Ouch! I just got hit. Not for real. By the way, guys, if I ever make comments about Amy uh, doing something um, active to me, it's not her actually trying to hurt me. Amy's not that way, so please don't ever take it that way. We kid around with each other, so it's honestly not that bad. Amy's not that type of girl. So we still got five seconds left until preheated. So we're gonna preheat that oven to 350. I'm gonna open this up here. And we're gonna put this in here. Now I am gonna have to turn this on here. Because unfortunately one of the worst things about having to uh, do a lot of cooking is the fact that, well, um, you do have to worry about your fire alarm. Now, if you don't have a good fire alarm, 
challenge your, your superintendent every twice a day until it's fixed. I'm going to use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. We're going to heat this up. And I'm just going to cook one chicken breast. That's not a chicken meal. It's it's more of a it's more of a uh, kind of pasta dish, but like squash pasta. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's you know, all this is really weird. Like, why would you do this? You know what? There's some people out there that are vegetarian. If you're a vegetarian, this stuff is totally not something you're gonna want. And I get that. That's cool. Uh, there's people who need to cut down their meat, but people need to eat more vegetables. That's more like us. So, Evie and I, but you know, we like to uh, we like to uh, to change things a little bit. So, you know, this spaghetti squash thing is um, going to be a little bit new to us. So, let's see what it's like. We're gonna we're gonna fry this up here a little bit and then chop it up in really small pieces. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure I understand this all here, but my wife is going to be cleaning the kitchen very soon, but we both had an extremely busy week, so it's not like she's had or I've had a lot of time to do it, so excuse that. So, when everything's done, we're just going to pop it in here and we're going to mix everything together. So that's what this is. My wife starting a new, started a new job and she's been working really hard at it. Very proud of her because she's doing really good. You know, like, hey Amy, great job. So I mean, sometimes you gotta work on what you can work on and that's what it's been for both of us. We've had a hard week. So I'm just gonna stick this on here. And of course, that helps you turn the oven on, or the stove on. Which I didn't do. So it's going to take a few minutes to do that. So when this is done, I'm going to come back and uh, I'll show you the chicken. But all we're going to do with this uh, before she goes, I'm going to pour a little bit of salt on it. Don't need a whole lot. Really, you don't. Uh, pepper, on the other hand, nothing wrong with pepper. Pepper always gives a nice little taste to it. And here's my little trick. Ginger. You got a little ginger. Just gonna put a little bit on there and that should be good. We're not gonna heavy dose anything else, but that'll be good enough. So when the chicken's all done, ready to go, I'll be back. Welcome back. So here's my chicken. It's not exactly the biggest chicken in the world, but again, this is not a chicken dish and I don't want you to really be tasting all chicken. I want you to be tasting vegetables, I want you to be tasting mostly the spaghetti squash. So basically from here, uh, we're going to be uh, cutting this up and, and putting in the mix. Now, one thing I should have mentioned earlier too, is the spaghetti squash is being cooked for 30 minutes. At the 15 minute mark, we're going to take it out, we're going to flip it, put it back in. I don't think I need to film that because I think we're all adults, we know how to flip a uh, burger, we know how to flip anything. Uh, so when the 30 minutes is over, I'm going to come back and uh, and show you the, the last part actually. Uh, and that's just basically the vegetables. They'll already be cut up and everything else. Uh, you know, maybe I could have used another breast. Looking back, I probably would have, but you know, whatever. It's not a big, it's not really a big chicken dish, right? So. Put this in our cauldron. We're going to start calling this. It's a beautiful pot. Great deal on that thing, Zadie. Uh, that needs to be washed now because it had chicken in it. If it contacted chicken that was not cooked, it cannot come in contact with anything else. Very, very important, guys, because if, if you allow it, you're going to have problems and you'll get sick. We don't want that. So we'll be back once that's done and. Uh, and that's it. So I'll be back. Welcome back. So I, my uh, squash should be done. It's a vegetable. Just gotta watch, you know, make sure that you know you're being smart with it. So 
And it is a little bit of a bone when you're taking it out, so I'm going to take here to throw on the cooling rack. Now, this is going to sit for about a half an hour. I'm not going to do anything else with it. We're just going to let we're just going to let her cool. Turn the oven off. We don't need that anymore. But we're going to let this sit for about a half an hour to cool off. Because if we don't, it's going to be a pain. Uh, it's going to be really, really hot. So I'm just going to put a timer on. 30 minutes. Wife and I and my friend Sarah. There's Sarah, by the way. Yep. We're going to go outside and hang outside for a little bit because it's a really nice night. Excuse me, sorry. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you that I've cut up some green peppers, cucumbers, white onions, and some radishes. Now, if you've got IBS, you really have to watch out for your consumption of oil. Uh, you don't want a whole lot of spices. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of peanut butter in there. I was actually fled onto this, so it's actually not a bad thing. So we're going to try that. And we're also going to try some spinach. Uh, now, I'm going to use, just because my wife likes it hot, I'm going to put a little bit of my secret chili garlic sauce. It's, it's from Vietnam. It's really good. I'm not going to dose it heavy so it's really hot. Sarah probably doesn't like the heat. Am I right or wrong? You do like heat or so? So, so, so they're all right. Uh, but it's going to give a little bit. Now, if you're cooking for IBS, diabetes, or another dietary restriction, watch what you're doing, right? I mean, this right here, no sugars. This is absolutely great. However, if you have IBS, you might want to try something different, uh, something lighter, like maybe even a salad dressing. You know, a little bit of vinegar, that's all right. I'm going to have a lot more uh, to this when I'm ready for it. But first off, I need to uh, wait for this to cool here. So we got it on time for 30 minutes. I'm going to touch it. It's really hot. Uh, not terrible though, I mean, but when this is done, <clears throat> this will be uh, a little bit easier to start tearing apart. Uh, mix that with the chicken that's already in here, which isn't a whole lot, but it's, again, not a chicken dish. So, <clears throat> I'll be back when we're ready to start this, uh, and we'll start, then after that, we're going to start the, uh, the uh, stir fry part of it. So, I'll be back soon. Welcome back. So we got the vegetables all chopped and Oscar wants to be a, a big part of this. He's a very useful cat by the way. See, he even tells you so. <laughs> so this is all done here. So you don't want this toasted to the point where it's just going to be uh, really, uh, really annoying. Uh, we're obviously not going to want the crust because that's just going to be a pain in the ass. but I'm just taking a fork to it. I thought I might need a two, but I really don't. And, and really, what I said, the hardest part of this was cutting it. And with a good knife, it really isn't that hard. It looks like pasta. It really looks like pasta. And my wife is speaking, even though she's a camera person, but that shows you how shocked she is that, that this is actually a thing. So you just clean this off the best that you can. I mean, and this is just one ring, and there's a couple more, right? So I mean, uh, this is enough to feed a couple people. And Sarah, I hope you're hungry because you're going to be eating some of them, <laughs> whether you like it or not. <laughs> you're one of the people that asked me about it, so I'm sorry, my dear, but you are going to eat it. I think my lovely wife, the uh, the cleaner, will be. Uh, taking care of this for me. She's an amazing cleaner, by the way, when she wants to be. No comments. So bad. <laughs> but the, ripping this right out, and it, when you when you take the time to actually cook this, and it, it really isn't that hard. It really isn't. And actually, it's really easy. Not that hard. It comes off really, really easy. It's, it's, you know what I mean? This is, you know, I'm actually pretty impressed. Like I, first time we've had this, so you know what I mean? It's, you know, you don't know really what to expect. And this is only two rings. But you need to get a look at this. That's quite a bit. Yeah, and we still got three more to go. 
take a whole lot. I, I, I will say that if you're expecting this to be a cheap meal, it's not. Uh, it is about six dollars per squash. I got two because I wasn't really sure how much I was going to get out of this, and I watched a few YouTubes today to, you know, just get a gist of what I wanted to do. Uh, first time doing it, so uh, you know what I mean. I, I want to make sure that I'm doing it right, so I have to discuss some ideas from other people. Um, and you know, one's actually good enough for a couple people. Easily. So I mean, it's really pretty easy. It's not hard at all. So we're just going to leave the camera on for this part because we're almost done and we're going right to stir fry and then, and then we'll be eating it. Now I promise not to make you watch me eat it because that's kind of, you know, not cool. So if I'm eating something really chocolatey and you need on a diet, I will. <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story. Uh, sir, if you're watching this out here, uh, I love you very much and I'm talking about Amy's sister. Uh, really nice lady she's in ontario uh her their father wife had passed on some years ago and he decided to get married again and to a nice lady margaret margaret's an absolute sweet a really nice lady i don't know her that well but i met her a couple times and she seems like a nice lady but you might have seen her i don't know her they know her better than i do right but amy and them decide that they're uh, going to go on this chocolate diet not eat chocolates they can so they can get the uh you know drop a little bit of weight and wear something really nice for their dad's wedding yeah, yeah. which is really weird to me because you know you think about it right you know her dad getting married uh, and honestly he was a married man for many years and unfortunately uh, their mother passed on from cancer uh, and i'll tell you i can't say uh and you know you have all these stories about the in laws and how nasty their experiences are I don't have that experience because they're all really, really good people. Uh, all of them. Uh, but, so they decided to go on this diet. And me being me, I decided to go cook some, uh, bake some uh, muffins. Cakes, cupcakes. I mean, Amy was deep freeze pretty much full of it. Yeah. I went to work for an eight hour shift. How much was left when I got home? There is a little bit. There was one. Well, that's your fault for being mean. That was my fault for going to work and not taking all the cupcakes with me. She ate all of them. Now, I let this sit for almost 30 minutes. Not a full 30, but close enough. You know, you just you want to make sure that you're really careful not to burn yourself. Yeah. Because you will. Um, when it's coming out of the hot oven, it is absolutely scorching hot. Mm. So you got to be very, very careful of that uh, because you won't burn yourself. You really don't want to. Uh, now, when we're looking at this, this is an absolute ton of noodles. Uh, I'm a little scared and very excited to see what this is going to be like. So. It's very nutritious. It's a vegetable. There's no uh, there's no carbs on it. So if you're having a no carb no carb diet, that's gonna be great. Uh, by the way, if you're cooking with cast iron, even after half an hour, you want to be careful not to touch it because it stays hot. I didn't burn myself, by the way. So I'm good. So I'm gonna turn my fan back on and I'm gonna put the heat back on to six. And where is my oil? It's right here. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on here and let it heat up for a minute. Well, actually a couple minutes. Here I've got some white onion. Now, like I said, I don't endorse any stores, any products. Uh, unless someone sponsor me, I don't, spon I don't endorse anything unless they want to toss something to me. Then I'll give them an endorsement. Uh, but I will say this, if you're, uh, the two best stores in Canada, in my opinion, is no Grills and Sobeys. I love Sobeys because they have an amazing deli. Uh, if you're 
new to Canada, you're coming to Canada for the Otis Oats, check it out. It's actually a Canadian tradition. They have a deli, of all delis. Uh, you can get a lot of really good stuff there and their service is way better than you're going to get anywhere else. So in here, I'm going to start frying up my onion. And this is froze dried ginger. Trying it out. It's new to me and never really seen it before lately. But you know what? We're going to try it out. Now, the key thing here is we're cooking onions. We're going to, you know, flip them off a little bit. And we're just going to caramelize them a little bit. We don't need a whole lot. But you just want them to caramelize uh, before you start putting everything else in. And, and look at Sarah. She, she's made a new boyfriend. <laughs> this is Sarah's boyfriend, Chilis. He's all this blurry because he's being picked up. Someone's giving him a little bit of attention. He's all happy. <laughs> Uh, you know what, if you guys have an opportunity to foster an animal, uh, you know what, sometimes fostering animals is extremely rewarding. Uh, Chili's and an Oscar behind me are, are fosters. Uh, we're helping a friend out with them, uh, and they're absolutely beautiful cats. Uh, you couldn't ask for better cats. Now with my vegetables, I like them to be crispy. I don't really like having a whole lot of, uh, I seriously don't really like having a whole lot of uh, softness to them. When you put, when you heat them up too much, they start tending to, uh, they honestly just, they lose their taste and texture. So it's not, to me it's not a good thing on, uh, to have them uh, totally 100% uh, cooked. You want your onions to be a little softer, but that's it. So this is some spinach, and I'm just going to start throwing this on here. I'm not going to cut it up. Now, when you're eating this, you can certainly do that if you want. And the other thing, too, is to pay attention to your cooking, right? I'm putting some green pepper in here. Now, if you're going to a place like Pie Express, I mean, they have a lot of frame going on. Uh, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but if, if you're suffering with diabetes, cholesterol, heart issues, IBS, you really don't want a lot of it. So, put some cucumbers in here. My, my wife loves doing dishes, obviously. I certainly give her enough of them. The dishwasher works great. <laughs> <laughs> and then, what else do we have here? Give a little bit of uh, texture, a little bit of color, and put some radish. You don't mind radish, do you? Yep. Gonna dump that in there. Throw that in here. We don't have a little bit of peanuts, and I'm not a big fan You're of... You're not allergic, of, are you? I'm not a big fan of having uh, a whole lot of nuts, but a little bit of peanut butter, which is nice and soft, will actually work really well. We're just going to heat that up, and I got that trick. Now, if you're diabetic, uh, and you're going to need a one eat this, you might want to slow down on it a little bit, but a little bit of peanut butter is not really going to be that bad considering that everything else is low, but so we're just going to mix that in here we will take care of that I'm going to get a nice stir in here because we really want that I'm going to have everything mixed in and believe me, with the peanut butter, it's gonna it's gonna start melting, and you'll have that there. Me, when I'm when I'm thinking about Thai food, I'm thinking about uh, when I'm thinking about that kind of thing, I'm thinking about more health. You know what I mean? I'm thinking about 
I'm thinking of more veggies, right? Uh, is there a right or wrong reason? I mean, is this exactly what somebody from Thailand would do? Probably not. But it's a. Uh, but it is going to be quite healthy. So there's the chicken. Just going to stir that in here a little bit. And you can you can smell the peanut flavor in here. You don't have to do this, by the way. I mean, you really don't. Uh, a lot of people will sit and uh, say, you know, well, this is what I wouldn't get at a, at a Thai place. Well, not exactly, right? But everybody's going to do things a little bit different. And this is my being different. If you know me, I'm a different person. <laughs> I embrace it. I, I know who I am. I know what I am. And you know what? I love me for me. Even if my wife doesn't know something. Yes, I do. <laughs> Sarah? <laughs> Their tongs. Eh, close enough. <laughs> now this is pretty much almost done. If we're not really cooking this, it's already been cooked. But I mean, and this is just one squash. <laughs> That's all it is. It's just one. I need to buy more tongs, by the way. And if you want to know, if you want to remember what we started off with, that's it. Now, as a little quiz, as soon as we're done here, Amy is going to uh, tell you her culinary skills and she's going to cook the same thing all over again. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'll leave that to my hubby, the pro. <laughs> and this obviously is not the greatest uh, plastic in the world. You need one that's a little harder. I use this to my wife when she talks back. And you think, and really, that's a bad joke and I'm sorry. Uh, my wife's actually awesome. She would never, never really need to begin with. Number two, I never hurt my wife. He's way, only joking. And by the way, guys, <laughs> if you're really a man, you, you won't even so much as reduce your voice to a woman. You don't need to. So we're just going to mix this in pretty good, and you know what? We're pretty much done. Shut this off here, and I'm going to shut this off here. How's this look? Excellent. So, this is my pad thai with spaghetti squash. So I'm going to grab a uh, a plate. I'm not going to be very right. well. Actually, no, I'm going to grab a bowl. We're not going to eat straight away, but I'm just going to show you what a serving looks like. And 
And this is my spaghetti squash pad thai. And if you're wondering what that sound is, the Amy's turning his earphones going off. <laughs> I, I don't know why. It's just too quiet for so, That's it for now. So please do me a favor. Hit like, subscribe, leave me a comment. And later on, I'm going to be posting another video on our new chat server where you can join us, ask questions, meet the crew, meet the cast. And this is Amy's ringtone, Jingle Parks. Uh, she's Dutch, what can I say? Anyways, thanks for coming by. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later.